Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful interactive animation in PowerPoint. This design uses hyperlinks to move between each slides and morph transition to animate the shape positions. Quite a lot to do, let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and draw rectangle shape on left portion of our slide. Make it no outline and fill it with dark grey color. Change the colors of PNG icon and text fields and then place them over this rectangle shape. Format these text fields as per design requirement and place them evenly as shown. Now go to insert tab and draw hollow circle shape holding down shift key. Make it no outline and fill it with light grey color. Drag this shape holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create duplicates at each position of text fields. Now group these hollow circles with its text fields. Next go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape to cover right side space on our slide. Make it no outline and fill it with dark grey color. Go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle shape. Make it no outline and duplicate it three more times using Ctrl plus D. Make sure all these rounded rectangles are centrally aligned to right side rectangle shape. Also align them centrally to horizontal guide. Now drag these rounded rectangles holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create a duplicate set. This way, all duplicate shapes will be in line with original shapes. Change the fill colors of these duplicate shapes and subtract original shapes from right side rectangle shape as shown. This is bit important step. Go to selection pane and rename all duplicates shapes for easy reference. I am following the naming convention as shown but feel free to use your own naming convention. Align text fields centrally to each of cut sections. Now select all duplicate shapes and create another duplicate set using Ctrl plus D. Change their fill color and rename them following the same naming convention.
Now create another duplicate set using Ctrl plus D and follow the same process. All these rectangle shapes must be aligned perfectly one over the other. Totally there must be three set of rectangles shapes because we have three options in our design. Now these steps are bit important. Select all elements on left side of our design and bring them to front. Next select all rectangle shapes and move them behind all the shapes. By doing this arrangement, we have created masking effect for all rectangle shapes. Now we will proceed with our animation portion. Duplicate first slide and then move first option text field towards right. Match the text and halo circle color to first set of rectangle color. Next select all red color rectangles and move them into slide area using left arrow key. Adjust each of these rectangle positions and accordingly change their percentage text values. Next steps are very important. Go to first slide and hyperlink first option text field to second slide. Similarly, on second slide, hyperlink home icon to first slide. Now select both the slides and apply morph transition. Let's preview the animation and hyperlink effects. As we can see, clicking on option text field will transit to second slide with morph animation effect and clicking on home icon will transit to first slide with morph animation effect. Next create the duplicate of second slide. Move first option text field back to its original position and second option text field towards right. Change first option text field and its hollow circle to their original colors. Change second option text field and its hollow circle to next set of color. Now we need to bring back all red color rectangles back to its original position and move orange color rectangles to new position. So let's first align one red color rectangle perfectly to its original position. Once done, select remaining red color rectangles and align them to right. Next select orange color rectangles and move them to new position using left arrow key. Adjust each of these rectangle positions and accordingly change their percentage text values. Now follow the same process as before and hyperlink each text fields and PNG icons to their respective slides. Few hyperlinks may be carried forward when slides were duplicated, so just leave them as it is.
Let's preview the animation and hyperlink effects. Looks perfect. Next duplicate third slide and follow same steps as before. Let's quickly add title to each of these slides. So here is the final preview. Hope you all like this animation. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.